then took a you know took a plunge for another six months and this time he has stupendous uh, fantabulous rank of all India rank nine. So great question, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Call me sir, yar. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank right. you. Yeah. All right. Call me Gupta if yeah, that's okay. All right. Great. So uh, now. Uh, coming to uh, coming to question one, let's ask some some questions. So, when did you start preparing uh, like preparing for PG entrance per se? Like a lot. Like this is this is one of the few doubts. Like you know, this uh, as, uh, since NEET UG is also conducted right now, there will be a lot of people who will be like, let's start preparing for NEET PC and ICT from first year. Someone will be like, I'll start preparing for from second year. Someone will be third year. So, what do you think is an appropriate enough a time to start preparation for as far as NEET PG is concerned? I would right, say nice. not as per exam oriented way. I think ideal start would be in internship because before that, uh, we need actually we will be very busy in focusing on our own clinical skills and preparing for drops. And they need they should not be ignored. I mean, they form the core basics of what a clinician we are going to be. So I think uh, most of the I don't think the uh, preparation kind you know the exam oriented preparation with uh, proper preparation should ideally should start at internship uh, that's what i think and i have started it in that way So you started your preparation and internship. You actually mentioned a very important point now that you know that uh, that uh, uh, you know in the third and fourth year you should focus on clinical skills. A lot of people nowadays are just after that you know they'll just do notes. They won't read standard textbooks. Do you believe in that? No, I mean uh, you can augment with uh, the notes or whatever the you know Hmm. material that we have. But standard books are standard books. They should be they uh, nothing can replace them. That I think. think. exactly like you know i think i think this this a lot of people should realize is that at the core and this is one thing he really he rightly talked about you know uh, that uh, you as far as preparation for an entrance exam per se is concerned internship and uh, maybe 6 months or 9 months after internship are more than enough to get a good rank and in third and fourth year build your basics with your standard textbooks and you can augment with the notes no doubt about that but uh, there is a place which is your favorite standard textbook i am pretty sure i know the answer most times only have single answer only but uh, let's see what's your favorite standard textbook robins rob ha huh? robins <laughs> Robbins, yeah, I think, I think, I think, if it, and no Amazonian will ever say anything other than Robbins, yeah. So <laughs> this, is, this is something which I would myself would say that you know, uh, uh, Robbins is <laughs> chef's kiss, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. If even if you if you don't do any other standard textbooks, there's one standard textbook you <laughs> should do, definitely do Robbins. This is a, this is I think. This is one thing you should, uh, you know, definitely keep in mind. Uh, like you know, Kushwan will say, I will say, ten years before me, someone will say that, you know, all of all the alumni will say that. <laughs> or even study, don't it? Study anything? Yeah, study exactly. Study Robbins, exactly. Absolutely, I think we can. You know, uh, if there's one thing that you take from this interview, please, in second and third year, ensure you study Robbins, <laughs> right? You know, anything else is uh, just uh, superfluous. To be very honest, great. So you started your uh, intern, in you know. exam focus study in your internship so how did you go about it what was your uh, you know uh, what, what what do you think you made the mistake in november that you rectified as far as the may attempt is concerned uh, and uh, was it revision was it non academic factors was it breakup or something on those lines you know whatever uh, uh, what might be there you know be be if you if you can be if you are on on this well, i would major majorly one factor was i did not uh, you know at the end the last 4 5 months which were very crucial before the november i had very hectic postings unfortunately because in aims we you know you know like with the four batches one will be very fortunate and uh, b will be the mm, yeah. most unfortunate so i was the most unfortunate batch so i could not uh, focus much on my preparation during the internship so whatever whenever i used to get time that in even that uh, very broken kind of preparation it was not in one go not one subject completion is uh, kuch nahi tha so whenever i used to get whatever whatever subject it maybe i used to go through it and uh, i did not have enough confidence before that exam but i gave it with whatever i know i thought the i should give it very peacefully so i gave it like very peacefully and i think that's what uh, instead of even through my worst preparation ever i think the peaceful kind of uh, you know the very peaceful mentality that i maintained because i did not care about the results because i know it can can be worse i thought it it was a decent enough score that i got you know uh, the ram that i got but it was not even mm-hmm. for in the, for the medicine that i aspired to so, mm-hmm. so i again uh, thought 
gave a lot of thought and i again uh, decided i will give them this new attempt and started preparing in uh, right. started preparing in jan i start, uh, as soon as i completed my internship as as i consider consider completed your internship all right so uh, what was your uh, like you know how did you go about each and every subject like uh, first reading of notes or did you start with mcqs ended with mcqs how did previous year questions come into the picture is pyq is important as far as iict is concerned so can you talk about a little bit about uh, the journey as far as each and every subject you know you would uh, of every subject but uh, what what would what would a week in your preparation or two weeks in your preparation look like what was the strategy as far as that is concerned in internship so when i start uh, in when i started actually so i thought i kept first two months for actually you know reading every first of all acquiring whatever the materials that i want to choose for further thing so i want to finalize the material which i would be using for so uh, whatever the rr notes that i took uh for whatever the other sources that i think i just went through it whatever extra points i had i uh, made it into a single notes uh that's what the compilation the organization that was the major two months uh, so i get a good enough one reading throughout uh, all the subjects uh dude and during that i used to you know kind of practice uh, like a recall mcqs like i used to you know uh you uh, select a topic that i studied around one week or four day four day one days back so that i can test my memory that how much i retained it and i used to again fastly go through that uh, topic or sub topic or subject or at least if it is a minor subject half of the subject or if it is a, a half of full subject if it is a major subject a part like cardiology or neurology like that uh, i used to recall using uh, mcqs uh after that uh, pyqs i actually bit realized a bit late uh, in the third month actually that pyqs are much more important in ini site than any other mcqs any other modules <laughs> any other anything anything <laughs> pyqs are like the gold standard that you can't miss so i started solving pyqs because initially i was like ki pyqs are like the real exam question so i will complete first my reading then i will start but it's not that's not how it works because the pyqs actually give you insight ki what are the topics you need to focus on so so it should be simultaneous ki uh, so in second reading i included every time i read something i did pyqs also uh, so that you know uh, it helped me ki did i at a, as a checklist ki did i uh, go yeah. complete all the topics complete all the important topics basically topics were covered in pyqs so yeah after uh, after two months i kept one and a half month for the second revision which yeah. was bit of scatter scatter because uh, i could not focus much uh, the two after two months bit exhausted i was yeah. uh, but again the last one month uh, i the third revision which i kept which was uh, which was quite decent uh, then after that the last 10 days which i kept very fastly whatever i can go through uh, not very much line to line whatever i can go to superficially i went as much as possible and i was reviewing the pyqs which i bookmarked and you know like kind of uh, yeah mostly bookmarked and uh, if i did not bookmark at least whatever wrong and whatever uh, superficially i saw if the question was something which i did really had no idea about i used to go and read the topic so that's what uh, was last in, in the last uh, 10 days last right? great great so yeah so uh, like i think he has emphasized it amply the pyqs are the gold standard as far as you know ini ct is concerned it like a lot of people actually make this mistake and like you also kind of did in the first part that you know they do the subject and then like we'll do the pyqs towards the end no it's not that way you know you should start with it to know what actually the important topics are and then keep on revising those topics again and again so that you know they stay in your memory don't make the mistakes that you will do the pyqs only towards the end that's that's a, that's a blunder a lot of people do you recognize that uh, very early in your preparation uh, many people actually recognize it after the exam and especially if the goal is ini ct you cannot not do the previous year question most they are the most important questions more important like he said more important than any other module more important than any other uh you know a uh, question that you might encounter in any of the q banks and everything and he rightly talked about you know every time the revision time kept on decreasing and it was 2 3 months then 1 1 and a half month and then then a final 10 day revision uh, since we are on the topic of the last 10 day revision uh, can you tell me a little bit about uh, your experience with one shot which faculty you loved as far well as one shot was concerned i really liked uh, dr tamim's one shot notes uh, of medicine which was very rapid to revision uh, because uh, medicine since i was 
you know a bit strong in medicine initially so i did not give much focus during because i was solving mostly uh, in physio and uh, pharma they used to cover most of the medicine for me because i used to get wrong uh, always the poor physio or poor pharma patients you know poor medicine questions mostly they never go wrong uh, to me so i did not focus also much on them because my medicine was good during my third and fourth years so uh, so at the end uh, but i thought i i kind of felt like i i was missing medicine at least because i did not properly go through it all at once so it did, that really helped me because uh, every like uh, just night one uh, one two hours i used to sit i i could have completed like cardio neuro etc like in with in seven seven two hours i completed almost the whole medicine with that so it was really helpful at the last moment uh, and it was very concise very precise and very organized i really liked the uh, one shot medicine you know Great, great. So he loved one shot medicine. He has already told me about, but I'll, I'll let him also speak about. Who was your favorite faculty as far as DBMC? I was concerned. Uh, Doctor Tamim, Doctor uh, Doctor Mukesh, and Doctor Ashwini sir, who really made the subject I hate into the subject I kind of loved at the end. And uh, you won't believe me, I I barely passed with my first. Uh, Uh, first internal in I I know how it's in the first internal in ATMs. Uh, even when I got more than eighty percent in the final. Uh, after the whole combined. Oh, yeah, sure. I because uh, then I could only imagine the even though internals were very low, the final uh, I I was using near, near the final the notes. So the kind of marks I got just by using that note, it was really good. Uh, So yeah, so at the doctor Thami and the doctor Ashwini, great guys, right? I no doubt about that, you know. So he basically converted all the way from someone who was barely passing anatomy to someone getting a distinction probably in anatomy thanks to doctor Ashwini. And obviously, like he said, doctor Thami's one shot helped in rise medicine. Uh, uh, you know, and one shot helped in rise in general towards the end very uh rapidly, very concise, very precise. So great. Uh, Kushan, a little. Uh, so we have already told about that you want to do medicine. So I'm not going to ask ask about questions related to specialization. Uh, just a small. All uh, you know, uh, a very small rapid fire. I will do with you. Uh, first question to you is that uh, uh, do you have a girlfriend? No. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, <laughs> or you are not willing to share it right now. But okay, great. <laughs> was what was your uh, what was your favorite subject? Uh, pharma. Uh, pharma. Next uh, in third year was medicine. Definitely medicine. Medicine. All right. Which was the subject you thought if you wanted to you could delete from their nineteen subjects? I don't want it. I think it's obvious. PSM mostly, maybe. <laughs> Wait, I think most people will say that, but that's that's not saying. All right. So during this last four months, last six months, was there any moment where you felt that I can't do it? Yeah, there were definitely very, very many moments. I felt like you know it's exhaust you. I uh, I regretted. I should have taken something during the last. Uh, I got last a very really good rank. Like many were saying that you are fooled. You are actually like you know my one senior actually gave a very funny analogy. Also, he said that uh, you have got a golden ball and you are begging with that ball. <laughs> you are throwing away that ball. <laughs> you are stupid. <laughs> But yeah, mm-hmm. but uh, I ignored it because you know uh, the with that rank I was get I was able to get surgery or orthopedics, which I was quite not sure that I was passionate about, uh, and I that was not a risk I'm willing to take with my three years of life. Uh, we know residency is going to be hell, yeah. so the only passion towards the subject is the only thing which can save us. So I was I wanted to be sure about a subject which I think I will be passionate about. Then only I want to choose. So. I thought whatever may happen, at least I will give one sincere attempt because it was not a good preparation. I could not give my hundred percent better than the previous attempt. I so I thought that. let me prepare well and give this. But yeah, uh, preparation is really a solo journey. Who, how much ever friends we have, uh, definitely they they are important. The friends, the social group we have, the support group we have. I had I was really lucky to have a very good friends group and seniors group who supported me a lot. And especially we know at AIMS, you know mm-hmm. the kind of support we do have, nothing can replace it. And yeah, they were very supportive. But still, it's a solo journey. Every uh, because every exam you you are giving it alone. Every preparation that you you will feel you will have a lot of internal thoughts, internal self doubt, self worth, everything. But yeah, the goal is not to secure the rank, but give your best attempt. Best That's shot. Best right. shot. What was the longest you went without having an Instagram on your phone? Uh, 
not watching any reel or any shorts i think it was four days for one week one week it was one. during my convocation nothing we were full on chill mode <laughs> <laughs> great But so thank you very long breaks is also kind of deteriorate because again you get into the process it's kind of difficult we need breaks but it should be hours not days not days is great thank you thanks a lot uh, i think that's that, that covers most of the things and uh, it's been uh, it's been we've been very on uh, like you know like like you said uh, focus on your concepts your standard textbooks in the third and fourth year internship is more than enough uh, plan for like in like the three plus one revisions i would say three proper revisions one last standard revision have something concise one shot uh, something else the rapid revision notes or something on those lines to revise and uh, don't end your preparation with previous year questions start it with previous year questions okay. especially if uh, especially if ini ct is concerned because you cannot go wrong with that all right the kind of the kind of paper i think this time they saw they were to have experienced it because yeah yeah this, this paper definitely was uh, very pyq heavy no doubt about it. pyt heavy if one like people get confused so yeah. obviously not the exact same question is asked but yeah most yeah. the same topics and the same uh, concepts are asked repeatedly again and again yeah. most people who have read uh, you know like at least two three readings they, uh, two at least even one reading they give they they i think they will feel that no question uh, they were, except four three two three questions no question was not from the topic they did not know at least they would have at least heard about it it was very like that so we definitely mm. can't say it was hard but it was tricky that's uh, i think yeah, exactly it was not yeah i think that's that's a very honest assessment a lot of people are saying it's hard i think we don't think so it's hard hard would be a paper where you don't know anything don't know about anything. it out of the blue blank yeah you're blank it's not that kind of paper you knew about the topic but yeah sure the questions were made definitely tricky so short sure, moderate paper definitely a moderate a balanced paper thank you thank you kushwant yaar uh, we'll meet meet personally i'll take some treat from you i'll give you a treat <laughs> whatever that is. right i hope there is a there is a, oh, i hope you guys do a you know rain dance party at teams as the trend has been always been right so uh, great congratulations again and uh, uh, great insights as always uh, uh, stick to his mantra uh, stick to standard textbooks in the third and fourth year your clinical skills internship is more than enough start the preparation with previous year questions don't end it with previous year questions have something which is concise and precise like one shot medicine for towards the last end day revision and then go for the kill i think that's more than enough all right thank you